first time we met, she propositioned me. She seemed so sure. I was sure. He was so shy and mysterious. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Is there something you'd like to know? I'm your wife. I know everything. It's really in the public eye right now, too, mm. and it was a different period when you were making the movie. Did you have to kind of keep an eye on what was going on and how much it was changing while mm. you made it? It's a good question. I mean, I mean, when I first fell in love with this story, and this incredible love story that so moved me when I read the script, uh, you know, it was considered a hard film to finance, a difficult film to make. Now it's viewed as a timely movie, and I, and I think that's partly thanks to you know brilliantly written and directed shows like Transparent, uh, you know, Orange Is the New Black, the the, the Caitlin's generosity in sharing her uh, journey with the world. All, all these things have created a kind of tipping point moment where I feel like um, trans stories are now accepted in the mainstream, and I think that's exciting. Because I mean, there's so much further to go in terms of uh, the acceptance of trans stories and the overcoming of uh, prejudices against trans people. This, you know, I, I hope this film can help in a tiny way. And now, I think Eddie is absolutely fantastic Thank in the you. movie, but clearly there was a reaction to the choice to cast a cisgender actor in the role. Mm. When that first started to be discussed, what was the first thing that went through your mind? Um, I suppose the, the thing which was interesting was that the reaction was probably two or three years after I cast him, so so there was a slight feeling of crossed my mind when I read the notes. Yeah, there was like there was a slight feeling of like uh, oh, I'm not sure what I could do about that, but, you know, uh, because um, um, because because I'd, I'd thought about casting Eddie, I think you know very early on back in 2008, uh, but you know there's something in Eddie that's drawn to the feminine. He had played girls' parts. Uh, um, at school, he had played Viola in the Twelfth Night, you know, uh, b b by Mark Rylands. Um, so, so, so that 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 interested me. That you know, I had a film where the transition happens late. Uh, you know, it's the 1920s. It happens late in the story, so the majority Lily is living as Einar. But then also, Eddie just has this gift of of kind of emotional transparency. You know, he he really takes you with him on the journey. I, d I didn't want Lily to be othered by the movie or made strange. I always wanted I wanted an actor who, who, who would open up people's hearts to this character's journey, and I think he has that gift. Absolutely. And I wanted to ask you about the score, too, because score is important in any movie, oh. but here in particular, I feel like it really set the tone for certain mm -hmm. scenes. Mm -hmm. So was there a lot of workshopping going on for that? Yeah, I mean, I was really lucky to work with Alexander Desplat again. I mean, we had a great collaboration on the King's Speech. He then even, like, composed my Jaguar Super Bowl commercial, uh, this sort of pastiche of a massive action score. He's very versatile. And, and we talked a lot about, I think it was interesting, was when he started writing, he, he was trying to capture the strangeness of the journey. And, and, and actually, Alexander began to realize that what was important important was capturing you know the kind of the, the joy of it and, and and kind of the energy of the of of the need that Liddy had to emerge that Liddy had to um, be, be allowed to, to to emerge from you know uh, from 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 when she's living as I where she's so kind of bound up in herself so 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 that the school tries to balance the, the anxiety provoked by transitioning the 1920s but but also the the, the beauty of it the fact is I believe that I'm a woman. And I believe it too. Surgery has never been attempted before. You're my own life. It could kill you. It's my only hope. This is not my body. I have to let him go. I love you because you're the only person who made sense of me. Who made me possible.